If you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos. Aloha. Aloha, our keto friends. What's your name? Kai. And what's your name? Micah. And I'm Maria, and we are making Grandma Susie's yeah. Kringle. Everybody loves this recipe, so we're gonna get to it right away. What you're going to need is um, a cup and three-fourths of mozzarella going into a big bowl, and two tablespoons of cream cheese. Now, Kai, I need you to put that in the microwave for about two minutes. You hop to it, and I'm gonna tell you a story about how Grandma Susie's Kringle got invented, okay? So your dad and I, we love camping, right? You like camping too, right? Mm -hmm. Mommy likes to camp in a dirty tent, but nobody else does, right? So we have a camper now, but I still like to camp in a tent. But we used to go to Bayfield, your dad and I, before you were born, we would go up to Bayfield camping, and this was before we were totally healthified, and we would go to this bakery, and we'd get this Kringle, and it was absolutely delicious. I was like, I must make this at home. Um, but his mom always made Kringle for Christmas, and her name is? Sue. Grandma Susie, right? So this is Grandma Susie's Kringle, healthified. So we love you, Grandma Susie, if you're watching. Um, so, what's going on, Kai? Just gonna take like... It's not even on, can you turn the microwave on? So we are turning the microwave on. That's just a little glitch. But what you could do while that's heating up, you want it to be very, very hot. While that's heating up, you're gonna have an egg handy and you're gonna have three-fourths of a cup of almond flour ready. Um, and then you can get your fillings ready. And you could do my raspberry filling if you want to, but Grandma Susie's Kringle is cinnamon. So that's what we're doing. We have a tablespoon of cinnamon, two tablespoons, two tablespoons of butter, and some swerve. We're using swerve here as our sweetener. So that's gonna be another layer. And then you could also get your cream cheese layer ready. So you have a package of cream cheese, a whole eight ounce thing, all warmed up because you want that to be really easy to um, soften like that one egg yolk and some sweetener and then i have powdered sweetener to make some glaze with some nuts to put on the top so okay. that's what we need um so we're just waiting for that oh and i have a little bit of salt always why don't you go get it thanks bud um always have a little bit of salt in your desserts because salt is a flavor enhancer <laughs> kai saying it's not done yet it's not done you can bring it out kai it's probably fine Thanks, buddy. Bring it out, baby. And then have your pan ready and always use parchment. Parchment always makes it so much easier for cleanup. Can you go help your brother, my friend? I got it. He's got it. He's got it. Now, I'm not going to use a hand mixer. I'm going to use just um, a spit. Oh, it still had a minute. Oh, yeah, it's plenty soft. And if you're making my um, carnivore crust, or a fathead dough, don't even bother with the mixer. Um, someone yelled at me, they're like, you're gonna use your finger on YouTube. <laughs> so if you watch the video, I almost lose a finger on um, making the carnivore crust, didn't I? Mm -hmm. So once that's well incorporated, Kai, I know you love cracking eggs, so you crack an egg right into there, okay? But try not to get the shell. Bless you. <laughs> there you go. Put it all in there. And you can put the shell in, yeah, right there is fine. And then you're going to stir, stir, stir. And this might take a little minute, a little minute. That's how you used to say it. It's just gonna take a little minute. And then once that's well incorporated, which it still might take a little minute. Ah, but just use a spatula because if you use a hand mixer, it goes pretty much wonky do. And if you don't have a microwave, two of my recipe testers do not have a microwave. You can do this over a stove top. Just don't add the egg until the very end, okay? So now that that is nice and well incorporated, it should be better, but I just want to kind of get this video going, right? Mom, What's maybe that? I could try it when uh, you put it when we're done. Yeah, you want to eat it? without nuts. Oh, without like, nuts. Oh, don't you don't like want nuts on it, okay. I don't like nuts. We have some finished ones right here. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're gonna add three-fourths of a cup of almond flour. If you do my carnivore crust, this is kind of the basis, but I used pork rinds, but we're using almond flour for this one. I'll do a pork rind video with the raspberry maybe a different day. Mm -hmm. We have to get raspberries though at the store. Yeah. Will you go to the store? I don't want to go to the store. Nah. Everybody, you can comment on our YouTube channel and tell us what recipe you want us to make next. And what I like to do with this is I'm just going to use my hands. Hey, Micah, could you get the duck fat spray and spray that parchment paper? 
Thank you, my friend. So I'm going to use my hands and be like an old Italian grandma. La la la. Pat, or, pat, pat. Or you would be like a pizza maker. A pizza maker. Yeah. Yeah. Making the dough. Making the dough. Making the dough. So it's going to be kind of like a doughy dough, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to, could you spray it just a little more? A little more, my friend. Spray your parchment. And this is going to go right on in the middle. Could you move this aside, Micah? Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye bye. So now I'm going to start forming this into my Kringle and I'm going to make a big oval shape because I want it to be a big beautiful Kringle. You could make small ones like this, um, but we're going to make a big beautiful one. So spread it out. Just use your hands. You're going to get dirty. but That's kind of fun. I should let you guys do it, shouldn't I? Nah. Well, I do this. Why don't you make the filling? So um, this is our cream cheese filling. You're going to add one egg yolk. Can you add the egg yolk right on in there? And then you're going to add the sweetener right there, maybe a fourth of a cup of sweetener into eight ounces of cream cheese, and then stir it up with a fork, but real gentle so it's not going all over the place. See, teach your kids to cook, right? Because they can help you when your hands are all dirty and you can't do that. So spread this on out. And what I'm going to do now is, um, oh shoot, I should have warmed that up. Oh, well. It'll be okay. Actually, Micah, could you go heat um, this up? We need two tablespoons of butter, and we, you want it melted, so why don't you heat that up for 30, 30, 30 seconds real quick. Real quick, my friend. Thanks, Micah. I'm not going to eat He's it. super fast. He's super, super fast. I'm not going to eat the raw egg. Don't eat the raw egg. Try not to get on your shirt. That looks really good. Yep, and that's going to be your filling. Um, so we'll just wait for that. Oh, my. It smells good. Mm -hmm. And you could even add a little bit of almond extract in there um, to make it just, that would probably take us the last, like the Bayfield place. Oh, the funniest story. When we were camping in Bayfield, I made the protein noodle lasagna. We still had bad, you know, unhealthy danishes, but I made the protein noodle lasagna and I put it in a glass Pyrex pan. And so Craig was putting the tent up and I put the glass Pyrex dish over the campfire to heat it up. And guess what happened? It probably burned. It blew up. What? It blew up. And here I was trying to pick pieces of glass out and your dad said, you can't eat that. You're going to die and get like a piece of glass in your throat. So anyway, we had to ditch the protein noodle lasagna and I think we had hot dogs over the fire. Yeah, of course. We did. <laughs> but this was before you were born, my friend. Hey, Micah, that's probably good. All right. So now we have the cinnamon roll. Um, filling, so it's melted butter. And Micah, did you want to stir this up? Okay. Um, I'm going to put the cinnamon in there, so two tablespoons of cinnamon, and then the sweetener will go right on in there, and then you could stir that. This is how I stir it. That's how you stir it? Mm -hmm. If you don't want to use swerve, you could use stevia glycerite. This is a non bitter form of stevia, mm -hmm. it's thick like a honey. Um, but we're using Swerve today, so that's perfect. Thanks, my friend. So stir, 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 and then you're going to just pour this all over it. What about this? Nope, that's next. I'm going to brush this so it almost coats the whole thing, okay? Because this is that yummy cinnamon glazy goodness. And now I'm going to use yours, and I'm going to pipe this down the middle of it, okay? So not on the edges, just down the middle, and I'm going to make fingers, basically, that hug this Kringle, okay? So, there we go. That's probably good. Yes. And now I'm going to grab a knife out of the drawer. And I'm going to make these fingers that are about maybe uh, an inch long or three-fourths of an inch long. And these are going to fold over this Kringle. And you're going to heat your oven to 400 degrees. You want it piping hot. Um, otherwise, it's just kind of going to melt. So make sure your oven is preheated, otherwise you're going to be like, Maria, this didn't work. And then I'll say, you didn't follow directions, yeah. right? Not my fault. So then I'm going to fold that end over and then like these fingers reach right on over and they kind of braid it. And it, this is just like they had it in Bayfield. You did? <laughs> and actually I tagged the Bayfield people the Chamber of Commerce on one of my pictures about my story, and they reposted it, which I thought was really cool. 
So this is Grandma Susie's Kringle. This is in Keto Comfort Foods. I know that's a big favorite, but this will, the whole recipe, it will be on YouTube, but you just have to be a little patient if you're on Facebook watching. So, because we have to edit the video after this. So I'm gonna fold this, fold this. See how I'm doing it, guys? Yeah. Remember, you were braiding my hair in Hawaii. Remember doing that? It's kind of like braiding. Mm, yeah. On the beach, you don't remember? I'm not really good at it. <laughs> well, I've kind of forgot how to do it too. I'm gonna actually open this up a little bit, put the outside in, and then fold these over to make it prettier. All right, so there's the basis of Grandma Susie's Kringle, and we'll catch you back in about, I thought 15 minutes. Yeah, 15. Okay, our Grandma Susie's Kringle is all finished, and we are going to finish it. I let it cool for a little bit, I've gotta be honest. It didn't come right out of the oven. I cooled it in the fridge, and what I would do is put it on, I should have grabbed something to get it off here. Let's grab a spatula here. We're going to put it onto a platter. It slides right off there, because we sprayed that really well. And there we go. We're going to make a little bit of glaze, and what we did was, Micah did it for me, we had Swerve Confectioners, you can't use a liquid stevia because you need it to be a confectioner thing, and I put unsweetened almond milk in it, or you could use heavy cream, yeah. and what I'm going to do is drizzle it all over, look at how beautiful that is, huh? Mm -hmm. All over the Kringle, when, once it's cool, if it's hot it's just going to melt all over the place and be all over, but once it's cool, and then it cooled in the fridge for about... 10 minutes. Should we have done the milk first? Um, we, yep, we did it all ready, and then you're gonna garnish it with some nuts like this. And there you have Grandma Susie's Kringle. Yeah. Super duper yummy. It's like perfect for Christmas morning or Easter brunch, mm -hmm. Mother's Day, anything yeah. like that. So check it out and make sure you share this video with your friends. Sharing is 